In these problems, we are factoring quadratic expressions that have leading coefficients, so this number multiplied by the squared term, uh, that are bigger than 1. As long as these numbers, the, the leading coefficient and your constant term, aren't huge, I think the easiest way to do this is to list the factors of that leading coefficient, list the factors of your constant term, and then try to fit them in the factored form and use FOIL to see if they work out, so to see if they get that middle term. Let me show you how this works. The first step on this one is I, I notice the signs are all positive. So in this case, I'm going to have plus and plus. Multiply two positives to get this positive 18. Uh, add up two positives to get this positive number here. So a plus and a plus are the only way to do that. Then I list the factors first of my uh, leading coefficient here. So 6 is what I've got. Factors could be 1 and 6 or 2 and 3. And 18 could be 1 and 18, or 2 and 9, or 3 and 6. I think that's all of them. And now I'm going to just start plugging them in here. Uh, one hint, though, is that sometimes it's best to start with sort of the less extreme factors, the, the, more, the numbers that are more towards the middle. So instead of the 1 and the 6 and the 1 and the 18, I'm not going to start there. If you look at this, to get the middle term, we're going to multiply these numbers and add them together. 6 times 18 would be way bigger than 31. So I don't want a combination like that to start with. So I think I'm just going to start with 2 and 3. That means I'll put a 2 on one x and a 3 on the other x. And then I'll pick one of these uh, uh, pairs of factors to plug in and see if they work. I think I'm just going to start with 2 and 9. Um, let's just put in a 2 here and a 9 here. And then to check that the middle term is right, I mean, I know the first and the last terms are right. 2x times 3x is 6x squared, and 2 times 9 is a positive 18. The middle term we get from the two middle steps of FOIL. This is where we multiply the outside terms and the inside terms and add them together. So in this case, 2x times 9 would be 18x, and 2 times 3x would be 6x, and that would add up to 24x, and oh, that doesn't work. It's not 31x. It's not the middle term we wanted. Well, let's try another combination. In fact, let's use the 2 and the 9 still, but let's just switch places. So we'll put the 9 over here, the 2 over here. All right, so let's try that. Now the outside terms, 2x times 2 is 4x. The inside terms, oh, this is going to work out. 9 times 3x is 27x. That does add up to 31x. So in this case, choosing these sort of middle factors, I only had to try two combinations, and I got the one that worked. Let's practice this with one more problem. In this case, I see a negative sign down here in our constant term. The only way to get that is if one of these is positive in our factors and one of them is negative, because a positive times a negative is a negative. Now let's list our factors for the z squared term. Uh, for the coefficient here, 9. So I've got 1 and 9, or 3 and 3. And for 20, now I've already got my signs in here, so I'm just going to list the positive factors here. 1 and 20, 2 and 10, or 4 and 5. Yeah, that looks good. Again, I'm going to start with the middle, the middle terms here. It might be this 1 and 9. In this case, it's a little different because we've got a negative. So one of these things is going to, one of the terms, the outside or the inside, is going to be negative. One's going to be positive. We want them to add up to a positive 24. But I'm still going to start with my middle uh, and see how it goes. Maybe we'll have to go to 1 and 9. We'll see. So we've got 3z and 3z. And then I want to keep in mind that I'm trying to add up to a positive term. So whatever negative uh, number I get here needs to be smaller. Um, let's start with the 2 and the 10, and I would want to put the 10 where it's positive, because I want the bigger positive number, and the 2 where it's negative. Now let's see how that works out. So our outside terms are 3z times a negative 2, that would be a negative 6z. And our inside terms, oh, I think we got lucky here, so 10 times 3z would be a plus 30z. That indeed is going to add up to a positive 24z. So we did get lucky there, um, choosing middle terms and then being smart about which one to make positive and which one to make negative. But oops, that's not a z, that's a 2. But even if you don't get lucky, you can just uh, try rearranging these two, try the next combinations, and eventually you should find one that you can test out with FOIL that comes out to be this starting quadratic. So that is how to factor 
a quadratic with a leading coefficient that's greater than one. 